Hello and welcome to PMSLounge.com. In this video, we are going over at the three key changes that have occurred in the PMBOK guide over the years. So as you can see on your screen, these are the seven different versions of the PMBOK guide that have been published by the PMI. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the PMBOK 1, the one that came out in 1996. This can be called as PMBOK 1 because this was the first ever edition of the guide to the project management uh, body of knowledge. This was, of course, published by PMI. And this distinguished the body of knowledge of project management from the guide to the project management body of knowledge. So you have a project management body of knowledge which is a vast ocean that contains everything that there is to know about project management. And then the PMBOK guide, the first PMBOK that came out in 1996, it distinguished this, the vast ocean, from a simple guide which guided you to the project management body of knowledge. It told you about the stuff that you need to know. So basically, the PMBOK guide was a subset of the body of knowledge because like I said earlier, body of knowledge, project management body of knowledge is a vast ocean. The guide to the body of knowledge is basically a subset of it. And what does this subset contains? It contains the generally accepted, that is the applicable to most projects most of the time with the consensus that practices have value and usefulness. So from the vast sea of the project management body of knowledge, the PMBOK guide contained a subset of it. That subset was basically generally accepted practices which were applicable to most projects most of the time. Now, this guide also defined project management and the definition of project management was the application of knowledge, skills, tools and techniques to project activities in order to meet or exceed stakeholder needs and expectation. Now, I've underlined this because this changed later on this part meet or exceed stakeholder needs and expectations from a project. So the meet or exceed stakeholder needs and expectations. This was something which changed later on. Now, this was a shift to a process based standard to show interactions among knowledge areas. You have different knowledge areas. They are mentioned here uh, on the cover of the PMBOK guide itself. So basically the approach was a process based to show how these knowledge areas interact among themselves. So that is PMBOK guide edition one that came out in 1996 for you. Okay, let's talk about PMBOK three which came out in 2004 and when i say pimbok i mean the guide a guide to the project management body of knowledge i hope you realize the difference between the body of knowledge which is a vast sea and a guide which contains subset of it so pimbok three it incorporated the ansi standard logo also known as ansi some people like to call it ansi some people like to call it nc and as you can see the logo here so this incorporated the logo on the cover itself this was designated the standard of project management of a project it basically gave a separate standard of project management uh, of a project and it separated it uh, distinguished it from the project management framework and the body of knowledge. And even today, if you buy the PMBOK guide, you will find that there is a standard of project management, which is different. And then there is a guide to the project management body of knowledge. Now, this included generally recognized as good practices on most projects most of the time. So what was the subset that we are talking about now? The subset from the project management body of knowledge the guide to the PMBOK, it basically contains the subset which is good practices, which is applicable to most projects most of the time. Now, there was a change in the definition of project management because earlier we talked about meet or exceed stakeholder needs and requirements, right? Now, what we are talking about is the application of knowledge, skills and tools, tools and techniques to project activities to meet the project requirements. So we are not talking about stakeholder requirements and needs. We are talking about project requirements and we are not talking about exceeding them. We are talking about 
meeting those requirements so that was a basic difference uh, uh, between the project management definition from PMBOK 1 to PMBOK 3 and this is a key change of course right because we are we are essentially changing the way project management is defined and then came PMBOK 6 in 2017 and this was again a key change because it made a distinct separation between the ANSI or the ANSI standard and the PMBOK guide. Agile content was incorporated into the text for the first time. So first time ever you would now see Agile content in the PMBOK guide itself. And of course uh, the PMBOK uh, guide edition 7, it talks much more about Agile. It has basically changed the game when uh, we talk about PMBOK 7, but let's not go there. PMBOK 6, it also had expansion of knowledge area front material. So you saw significant new uh, areas to study when it comes to the PMBOK guide because you had key concepts, you had trends and emerging practices. Emerging practices found their way into the PMBOK guide. It talked about tailoring considerations, right? So based on your project, based on your environment, how can you tailor the process? That's something that the PMBOK guide edition 6 talked about. And it also talked about considerations for agile or adaptive environments. So that was uh, a major shift, a big change and expansion of knowledge area front material that PMBOK 6 introduced. PMC Lounge is available on Skillshare as well. You can head over to Skillshare.com slash PMC Lounge and check out some exclusive courses available on Skillshare. So that's all that we had in this video. I hope you were able to understand the changes, the key changes that were incorporated in the PIMBA guide over the years. And I hope you got value out of this video. Like, share, subscribe, check out our website pmclounge.com. And if you like our work, consider contributing at pmclounge.com slash contribute. Thank you.